It was a celebrity book signing with a difference as a television star brought a mini antiques fair to Kirken. Eric Knowles from the Antiques Roadshow was signing copies of his new book, Antiques, A Beginner's Guide, at Silverdale Bookshop. He invited people to bring along their items they wanted valued and to tell us about his new book and why it's a bit special. I was given access um, at Bonham's Auctioneers, where I've been for 30-something years, uh, to the picture library. And it's, it's a very restricted picture library, so I took full advantage. And, you know, I've included something like nearly 1,400 uh, brand new illustrations of things that have not appeared in anybody else's books before. This picture viewer with its cards was worth up to nearly £200. We're in, in the form of, they look like a double book. Yeah. Um, so you don't have the. No. You don't have that, have okay. No. But the, the cards are probably worth all the region around about eighty pounds, maybe, maybe hundred at the top. Eric spent around three hours chatting and advising customers. And this deluxe version is probably around about sixty to ninety pounds. I know that my husband's mother and father emigrated to Australia in uh, the early nineteen hundreds, and they, when they came back, they brought a lot of little bits of things. Mrs Blake's incense burner was only worth £50, but she was delighted to meet Eric. So, why are antiques as popular as ever? Are we all just yearning to make that quick book? Uh, there is an element of, um, yes, of, of finding a fortune. There is that, of course there is, and uh, that, that is a motivation of sorts. But you tend to find that people who, who are collectors of antiques, you know, they, are, they, they tend to have a passion for whatever it is, and the money... It, it is an issue, but it, it, it tends to be that they want the object, you know. So, no millionaires this time, but you never know what you could pick up at that next car boot sale.